Your home is probably one of the biggest investments you'll ever make. For sure is our biggest investment. And you live here all day, every day. So it's sort of like it has a huge effect on your happiness. Hey guys, we're at the home of Melissa and Jim in beautiful Minneapolis, Minnesota. And this home is a stunner. It's got LEED certification, a green roof, solar panels. It's got everything. Let's go check it out. Hi, I'm Melissa. And I'm Jim. We live in Minneapolis, Minnesota, about five miles west of downtown Minneapolis. We had the opportunity to build our own home about 10 years ago. We got it LEED Gold certified and it has all sorts of energy efficient and water efficient and good indoor air quality features, but most importantly, it's comfortable and livable. The goals we had for building this home, first and foremost, was to have a healthy home for our family. Um, the second main goal was to have it be energy and water efficient so that we would have lower operating costs over the years. We were actually going for LEED certification. LEED is an acronym for Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design. Another goal was to really feel connected to the outdoors. It's called biophilic design now. At the time when we built the house, we didn't know that word. We didn't know what it meant, but it was really important to us to feel like we were connected to the outdoors and have a really nice view of nature, have flowers, and uh, just feel connected. So we have a lot of reclaimed wood. The exterior facade is all made out of reclaimed cypress from old pickle vats um, out of Ontario. And then our stairs are made out of uh, some old warehouse uh, Douglas fir wood. The choice of flooring, I think, was probably one of the hardest choices because it, it sets the tone from kind of an interior design standpoint for the whole house. Why we ended up choosing the slate floor was partially because we had in-floor heat and it does get very cold here in Minneapolis pretty much half the year. And in-floor heat is one of the most comfortable, quiet, soft heating distribution mechanisms that you can get. A slate floor will hold that heat in it much better than a wood floor or cork floor or any type of any other type of floor. So another material that we used throughout the home is a countertop that is made out of 100% recycled paper and it's compressed with a resin. And it has the look a little bit of honed granite, but it's not as cold and it's not quite as hard. It's extremely durable. The company that makes it also makes Epicurean cutting boards and um, skateboard parks, so it's a really, really durable product and it lasts you know, forever and it is really easy to maintain. So the exterior skylight actually serves as a chimney, um, so the hot air can just go up and out and it limits our use of air conditioning, so we don't have to use air conditioning as much. Our solar panel system is a 3.68 kilowatt system and it produces maybe 10 to 15% of our energy. And so the solar panels just help to offset our use of electricity. The other thing that we did with the solar panels is that four of the panels serve as an awning to shade the western sun in the late afternoon in the summer. So that helps keep it cool as well. So the solar panels actually serve a double function there because they're producing power and they're also shading our office from the hot afternoon sun. So the green roof has several benefits. One of them is extends the life of the roof by two to three times. Uh, the second benefit is that it absorbs stormwater on site. The city of Minneapolis actually um, incentivizes homeowners to manage stormwater on site by giving them a credit on their stormwater utility um, bill. So we get a stormwater utility fee credit on our water bill every month because we manage the stormwater on site. And the green roof helps do that. Another benefit of the green roof is that it adds an extra layer of insulation. Now it's over our garage, so it's not that big a deal. Um, but it also really helps cool the upstairs office. I mean, one of the things we spent more money on was going from double pane windows to triple pane windows. I think that was one of our better decisions. It helps keep the home warm from a temperature standpoint in a way that we had never anticipated. And because it is a, a better insulator, it can help with the higher level of humidity in the winter, which is good, which also makes it more comfortable. Um, it's less drafty. And then the other piece that we hadn't realized was it's just quieter. So we live on a street that has a fair amount of traffic and it's very, very quiet. And that extra pane of glass, I think, helps a lot. 
we had a lot of cabinets and it's a lot of door poles. <laughs> and Melissa came up with a really good idea. She's like, well, the, the most sustainable door pole is no door pole. So all of our door poles are actually holes where you stick your finger in. So it's saved us money on the, on the materials. It's totally functional and it's pretty cool. And we never have to replace them. They'll never be out of style. <laughs> The screened-in porch is one of our favorite rooms in the whole house. It was not part of our original plan. You don't even feel like you're in a room. You feel like you're outside, connected again to the earth. It's just a great spot. Pretty much my favorite thing is Sunday mornings with a cup of coffee and my Sunday newspaper to be outside on the screen porch. I really believe that change begins at home. I believe that this is where you know we as individuals can have control over our own homes. You know we can't shut down a coal plant and we can't um, you know basically stop climate change by ourselves but we can do a little more with our own homes and so that was sort of my motivation and, and passion to see what could be done with our own home so i just uh, wrote a book about it it's called building a sustainable home practical green design choices for your health wealth and soul available on amazon barnes and noble <laughs> Everything is a journey. This didn't start out with us saying we're gonna build a lead gold certified home in Minneapolis. It started out by um, being interested in the environment. It started out by being interested in finance and, and better payback. It, it, it started out by having children and thinking about what kind of food we're bringing to the house, what kind of food we're feeding our children. So it, it's, it's a lifestyle evolution. You don't have to go that far. You don't have to get lead certified. You don't have to go for net zero energy. You can do small things that can make a big difference and just start somewhere. Just find one or two things that are really important to you and maybe just stick with that. But the other thing I would add is that not everything has to have a financial payback. I mean, people buy really nice couches because they're comfortable and beautiful. And so when you're looking at your house, do things because they're comfortable and beautiful. And by the way, a lot of these things also give you a financial payback and are lighter on the natural world and save resources and the environment. So you get kind of a triple win. I guess one of the things I'm most proud of is just the livability of the house. That it's just warm and comfortable and we use it all the time. We both work from home and we're always here and we cook a lot and the kitchen works really well. This is a larger than average home but we are here all the time and we utilize it all the time. So, you know, if, if it's used in a good way, I think that's a huge part of a building a sustainable home is the utilization of it. And we're very lucky that we were able to build this. I feel very blessed every day. We love our home. <laughs> and I love you. Okay, put that in the bloopers. <laughs>